What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here, and in this video, we're back. Hot 5 releases on KDP this week, and I think you guys are going to be shocked. There's not as many Christmas things out there left, and that's because we're at the tail end of the holiday season, and already brand new niches are popping up. I saw a couple of them as I briefly glanced through this, so I'm super fired up, and I've also got something to share with you guys. Obviously, my cat is never fired up, but it seems somebody else's cat is fired up, which fires me up even more. Take a look at this screenshot of cat fans everywhere just digging my videos, so I absolutely love it. So I am super fired up, and I hope you are too. Let's do this. All right, so I'm here on my screen share, obviously fired up that I've got cat fans out there. Despite the fact my cat could give two shits about what I'm doing, there are other cats in America that absolutely adore me. So let's talk about what we find on Amazon's hot new releases. This time, we're going to take a look at the children's book section because I think we can take a lot of what's happening on there and then move it over into KDP, and I will give some examples wherever good ideas pop into my head. But I did see some earlier that I thought were quite interesting. But first and foremost, here's this Supergirl mindset, which again, I'm not exactly sure. We've talked about this in the past. Obviously, this is promoting little girls into more positive thinking, which I absolutely love. So I might see if I see another one on the horizon that's like that to call it out. But we've also got a Ruth Bader Ginsburg book. We've got Wings of Fire, which is none other than dragons. And we've got this one right here, which I'm obviously going to point out this, even though it doesn't really remotely look like it could be a Valentine's book. It is. It's called We Belong Together, and it looks like it's about a dog and a sheep, and I love it. I think it's cool. It's a child's book, yes, and a lot of people say, like, Liz, how do we do this in KDP? Well, it's pretty simple. If at all anything it shows that this is Valentine's Day, it's coming up, and so people are already thinking about love, love stories, and what better love story than between a dog and a sheep, right? So... Anything having to do with love comes out the top of the charts today. I guarantee you there will be some more. I'm almost certain of it. So let's keep looking. So that's number one. Uh, the other thing that I see here, here is a Rockefeller, the Christmas Owl. Again, goes back to the central themes that I've been talking about all through the time with the hot five. That is pick a character, name him something. And on top of that, you can pretty much do an actual book every single point in time and every single holiday. Let's see what else we can find. Little Blue Trucks Valentine. Again, going back into now, jumping into Valentine. First one was love. Second is Valentine's book. Any central character that you have can be tossed into Valentine. And you're going to see a lot more than just central characters tossed into Valentine. You're going to see a lot of books pop up for Valentine. So if you haven't started on your Valentine books, now is the time. February 14th is rolling around faster than Speedy Gonzalez runs away from immigration. Yeah, I can say that kind of joke. I'm Mexican. Most of the rest of us can't, but I can say that joke because I am Mexican. So let's see what else we find here. And that also, shout out to the guy in the comments that said, Liz, you just weren't funny enough in this video. I've grown accustomed to you being really funny. I apologize, man. I'm trying to make up for it. I reused an old joke with the Speedy Gonzalez line. I try to think of some other clever things, but sometimes you can't wake up that clever every single day of your life. So I apologize for that. All right, let's keep going. Here's Blades of Freedom. It's kind of interesting. I'll see if we see anything like it. Um, I like this one a lot. Again, it goes to child empowerment, not just for little girls, also for little boys, but it's kind of like the Warrior Kid Manual. I've talked about in previous top fives, doing a superhero theme with kids. This is more like a Warrior Kid. I like it a lot. It's number three, I believe. I lost track already. So many ideas have been rolling around in my head. Maybe not doing a Warrior Kid, but doing something similar, a Ninja Kid, a superhero kid, like I said before. Anything to that degree, again, this empowers little boys just as much as it empowers little girls. I think both are needed with the state of the world today, as we see. Here's a Unicorn Diaries. Always goes to my theme. Slap a unicorn on anything, even turds, that melt in your mouth, and it'll sell. So I'm absolutely all for the Unicorn Diaries. Uh, again, we could do anything with diaries at the end of it and make it popular as long as our central character is strong enough and he's well drawn enough and the actual cover is beautiful. Um, here we go. Black Lives Matter, The Ballad of Winston Wandering Traitor, I believe is what it says. Let's see what else I can find here. Wings of Fate again. And here, I'm going to call it number four. I like this one a lot simply because... We see Ninja Life Hacks as adults. Why not show them for kids? They happen to create a whole series out of it called Ninja Life Hacks with a lot of little central characters as ninjas. But I think you can create this with a, many things. It doesn't just have to be ninjas. But again, it's a life hack for kids. 
or not. I'm not exactly too sure what it is. Now, I know they have these books as singles, so I would potentially buy one before I started to create something like that. And again, I feel that there's nothing better than buying other books out there and trying to get inspiration from what you read and what you see all around you. There is a book that I absolutely love. And it happens to be my second favorite book of all time. It's called Steal Like an Artist. This is actually the journal and it's by Austin Kleon, I think it is, but excellent book that shows you how you take ideas that are already out there and then recreate them as your own. There's no sense in recreating the wheel. It's just getting inspiration from things that are already out there. And a lot of people said, Liz, isn't that ripping stuff off? Well, I don't seem to think so. Neither does Austin. I just feel like a lot of what's already been said has been said. You just have to put your spin on it. And incidentally, if you guys want to know what my first favorite book of all time is, here it is. Best book ever to let me know in the comments below if you like this book too. But Let's see what else we can pop up here in the top 100. Uh, this one right here, here's number five. Ideas today are just filling up. This is the generational wealth building activity book, which shows children of today how to build wealth for tomorrow. I don't think there's a lot of that going on around with children, nevertheless, even with adults. So I think for a child, it's at us, it's incredibly important to teach them this and I certainly wish that I had been taught that as a young child, then I would have blown several fortunes away before I figured things out. So I am all for teaching children that and I think that's going to be a fantastic one and I don't doubt we see it again. Here's a Mandalorian with good old Grogu or Baby Yoda as I like to call him. Still still just super cute and is still Baby Yoda to me. He'll always be Baby Yoda. Uh, Little Red Sleigh which is kind of a Christmas theme. Here we have again the Among Us which we talked about being a trademark infringing. Here's Eyes That Kiss in the Corners. It looks like that could potentially be something about love and Rocky the Christmas Owl, which I think we saw him earlier as a coloring book, which goes to show if you have an actual book that does extremely well, why not turn it into a coloring book? That's one of the best ideas ever. There is a viewer of this channel who has a top 100 book or has had one in the past and he didn't have a coloring book. It was just a book. So fantastic idea would be turn that book into a coloring and or an activity book. The fans of your book should follow suit and buy your coloring book. So that's pretty awesome. Here is a book called Wolf Walkers, which we haven't seen really wolves become too popular, but I don't see why they shouldn't be, right? They were in Game of Thrones, so you could imagine that a book with wolves as the central characters could do pretty well. Here's Ellie the Tooting Elf. It makes me wonder what in the hell Ellie is eating and what in the hell Ellie is tooting if there is a smoke cloud coming straight out of Ellie's ass. What kind of things are we teaching our children today? And I hope that joke was good enough for the guy that said that I wasn't that funny. But Ellie is drinking, smoking, or doing something with her mouth that has created a cloud around her ass. And obviously, it's in the top 100 best new releases on all of Amazon. And right next to that, we have Ninja Life Hacks, which again, that's the second time. And The Way of the Warrior Kid edition as well as investing for kids. So going back to my theme of teaching kids how to invest, pretty awesome. You might think, Liz, how do I do this in a coloring book? Well, it's pretty easy. Make them color some money, make them color some investment, like some real estate. Okay, so let's see what else we find. Again, Among Us. Among Us, I already talked about it. You shouldn't be doing it. Babysitter's Little Sister. Now this is about the second or third time that I've seen Babysitters. However, I haven't mentioned it. So I think I lost track. We might be at number six. Somehow, including a theme of getting babysat. And this is called the Karen's Worst Day Baby Sister's Little Sister. So I guess it's about a, a bigger sister babysitting her little sister. But this can be done as a coloring and or activity book with bad babysitters, good babysitters, anything like that. Like this immediately makes me think of bad babysitters just with the scowl and the frown that Karen here has on her face. She's being a total Debbie Downer. And although she got a cute little furry cat right next to her. She still got that RBF. Yes, this is a family channel, so I will not tell you what RBF stands for. You should know what RBF stands for, but why the RBF face, Karen? You got a nice little kitty sitting right next to you. Get that off your face before I have to slap it off your face, sister. All right, Sammy the Scrooge Bug. We've seen Sammy before. He's been happy, but now he too has that RBF face, and I would slap that right off him. I'd slap the red right off of Sammy if he doesn't stop scowling over there. And again, another Sammy the Biggest Something contest. I apparently need glasses. We all know that. And Diary of a Sixth Grade Ninja. So going back to my ninja life hacks, the ninja theme I think I've called out before, but here's another book about ninjas that ninjas right now are fire. So if you're doing anything, it should be with a ninja. It could even be something like the Valentine's Ninja, almost replacing Cupid. 
This time it's a Valentine's Ninja. And if we keep going here are more Ninja life hacks and they always box set these which is a fantastic technique once you have a central character that does extremely well you can sell him in box sets which a lot of the romance novelists do and they do quite well with that. The smartest kid in the universe goes back to the child empowerment theme that I'm talking about and also I did notice so we're going to call it another one it seems that it's going to be Black History Month so that is yet another idea that you guys can focus on is something having to do with black history. There's a lot of ways that you can wing that with either activity books and or coloring books and even journals. So don't ignore the journals ever. And we got some penguins and dragons which are always hot. Here again is the warrior kid and dragons again. Uh, some more things about the White House which I've seen the second time I've seen a White House. The Mandalorian which is hot. Of course Baby Yoda. We've got the little blue truck and Among Us. And we've got this little dog that's missing his back two legs which I kind of see one walking around here in downtown which I think is absolutely awesome that the little dog is still keep, keeps on trucking right Felix the farting elf so here is the second elf that farts again this is a great thing to have in your back pocket for next year so I'm gonna call this one out but consider creating not just farting elves but consider creating other farting Christmas characters like reindeers and snowmen and anything that comes along with Christmas we got Santa we've got all sorts of characters that we can wing this with but it just seems like it's incredibly funny to have an elf or someone like that with a cloud coming out of his ass little green cloud very specifically so make sure that when you make your character next year that's farting around that's sitting around farting eating drinking doing whatever he's doing that he's farting a green cloud it's imperative that the cloud is green so make sure you remember that I hope that you do and we've also got a dog that's eating superfoods so just wanted to point that out how important that is and an owl that rides a dolphin like literally anything that you can put together could sell well if you market it right so that's it for the hot 100 I hope as usual you enjoyed this and I hope that there were enough jokes in this I hope I was funny enough I didn't pre-script any of this everything just came out came out naturally so let me know in the comments below and let me know if you have any questions I always personally answer all of them and I will see you all in the next video